And now for more insights on the WEF meeting, we're joined by Li Mingchen, Chair of Greater China of World Economic Forum. Thank you so much for making time for this, Li Ming. So let's start with the theme for this year, cooperation in a fragmented world. Is there a prevailing pessimism of rising fragmentation? And how much do you think the WEF can do to build consensus and promote collaboration? Well, this is not really regarding pessimism or optimism. It's really the reality. And if we look this back you know, to five years ago, U.S. China started the, the trade dis uh, dispute, and, uh, a dispute, and uh, indeed that dispute itself has not ended uh, today. And that the spillover of the of the of the dip dispute itself has not just been between these two countries. Actually, is uh, much wider mm -hmm. to this. Three years ago, Britain you know, has uh, uh, exited the European Union, and then three years ago, we uh, encountered with a uh, um, uh, pandemic. And uh, mm -hmm. one year ago, uh, Russia invaded uh, uh, Ukraine. So, you know, when I fly over from, from Beijing to, to, to Europe, I have to fly down and fly out. We are not flying over to, to Russia. You know, so we are living in a fragmented world. Right. Uh, this is the reality. It's not a theory. Uh, the, what the WEF can do is that you know, see, you know, we are forcing you know, with our uh, uh, um, neutrality and the impartiality, and that we are forcing for the dialogue and the collaborations. Only, only dialogue and the collaboration itself will help the world to bridge, to find the solutions, and uh, to you know, make the world you know, a better place to live. And they, that's certainly much needed in the world today. And the global economy is still reeling from multiple shocks. In 2023 marks a crucial year for China to reinvigorate its economy. Uh, from your experiences at the WEF, how should China further open up to the world and enhance connectivity to provide more growth impetus to the world economy? China certainly is playing a pivotal role in the world economy as the second largest economy and the largest destination for foreign investment and uh, you know, the largest trade partners for many, many countries in the world. And that China's role is very, very critical and very crucial. And in the last two days, and I have met with many multinational company heads and uh, they all talk about China. They have interest in, into China, and they want to understand what is going on in China, and so on and so forth. Mm. So the interest is is very very strong. The question is you know, how China is also going to be linked up with the rest of the world. And certainly, I would <laughs> encourage you know, Chinese enterprises to be more engaged with a platform like a WEF, so mm. that you know, we we can demonstrate to, to the world and that we can communicate to, to, to the world what is going on in China. And then we can also use this window to understand you know, see, uh, the, the world you know, from, from this platform itself. I think this is something you know, very, very important you know, see, for China to be linked to the rest of the world. And they will look forward to more communication between China and the, uh, the world's delegates from uh, around the world. And uh, what is the general perception of China's business opportunities and risks among global business leaders? What can be done by China's policymakers to further encourage MNCs and address their concerns such as supply chain security? Uh, certainly, China represents you know, you know, one of the largest opportunities in the world, and every company understands this because, you know, see, you know, with the, the growth, with the size of the market, and, uh, and uh, you know, multinational companies, for instance, they are very much interested in, in China. Mm -hmm. uh, nevertheless, you know, China is facing its own challenges. For instance, you know, see, we have just recently lifted the COVID. Uh, uh, restrictions uh, that would help China, you know, to to be more connected to the rest of the world, and uh, certainly, certainly, you know, see the policy itself. You know, we, China has assured the world many, many times over the years that we will continue to open up and we will continue to 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 treat you know each of the uh, business type you know on the on the on the fair ground and so on and so forth. But in my in my personal view, the implement, implementation of the policy itself is a, is a very very critical, so that we create a even playground for every type of the businesses. This is something I think is is uh, uh, some something that the regulators need to need to think you know, see very very carefully and uh, you know, follow this through and uh, very very strictly.
Mm. Well, thank you very much for sharing with us. And that was the Li Mingchen, Chair of Greater China at World Economic Forum for us.